Hey, what's up, my wonderful peeps? Sports of the Bone here again, man. Shout out to all the viewers, the subscribers, and to all the followers. Big up on yourself. Alright, so we are going to be kicking off the new year by remembering a former West Indian captain. Nothing too long, just a short synopsis. So, this is somebody that would have entertained us at many different levels, and I am talking about none other than our own Carl Hooper. The former right hand batsman is originally from Guyana and is classified as a man that was extremely gifted but didn't necessarily live up to his expectation. Now personally I didn't see much of, his, of the earlier part of his career but I was actually around to see a couple of his matches in the latter part of his career though. Now the right hand batsman who bowled right arm half break made his debut in the year 1987. Carl Hooper is remembered as the first cricketer to score 5,000 runs, take 100 wickets and grab 100 catches and also received 100 caps according to CrickBuzz. So I got that um, little bit of stats there from CrickBuzz. So you can easily see that this man was a talented cricketer. The above stats is only matched by um, one other cricketer in Jack Callis and we all know how much of a beast Jack Callis was in his playing days. Now, Hooper did captain the Caribbean team at one point in time. And as a matter of fact, his average was pretty healthy at this point in time because he was actually scoring at 50 plus um, when he was captain. Now, I am actually going to get into his actual number a little further down. But let's just reason a bit about um, a couple of the most interesting things that Hooper would have been a part of. According to CrickBuzz, Hooper is actually one of three players to have scored centuries against 18 different English county sides. And as you would be aware, back in those days, in the 80s, 90s, um, most of West Indies cricketers were able to go over and participate in county cricket over there. So, you know, and it's actually a very interesting thing because county cricket is actually played at an extremely high level. So for Hooper to be able to score centuries against 18 different county sides, then you know that this is somebody that wasn't any mug with the bat. You know, so the man actually had some talent. Now, the stats that I am actually going to read off to you guys was actually taken from the ESPN Crick Info website. So in 102 test matches, Hooper scored a total of 5,762 runs at an average of 36.46. In that 5,762 runs, he had a top score of 233 runs. Alright, so as it regards to his ODI career now, in 227 ODI matches, Hooper scored a total of 5,761 runs with a high score of 113 runs. Hooper had 7 ODI centuries and 29 half centuries. His overall average stood at 35.34. So we see where the ODI and test averages are actually similar. Based on the number of 50s scored compared to the 100s, we see that his conversion rate wasn't the best. So he was actually getting starts in a lot of the games but was unable to convert it to um, three-figure scores. So that is actually what his batting stats look like. Now, as I would have said earlier, Hooper was not only a mid ladder batsman but was also a gifted spin bowler. So, in his 102 test matches, Hooper took 114 wickets at an average of 49.42. His best test figures were actually 5 for 26 and he also had 4 5-wicket hauls. As it regards to his ODI bowling figures now, in 227 matches, he took 193 wickets at an average of 36.05. Now, Hooper had 3 4-wicket hauls while his best bowling figures in ODI cricket stood at 4 for 34. So that's actually a short synopsis of what Carl Hooper's numbers look like representing West Indies in both ODI and Test cricket. Now Hooper called time on his Test career in 2002, while his ODI career came to an end in 2003. Mr. Hooper has kept himself really busy since retiring, working as a batting coach at the Caribbean's Elite Cricketing Centre, which is the High Performance Centre. And he has also kept himself busy by um, doing a couple of coaching jobs at a uh, different T20 franchise. 
Now, so that's basically it where Carl Hooper is concerned, guys. Very short video, you know, just rolling out a couple of his numbers. So, what say you know, guys, based on how technically gifted he was, based on how um, well he was able to adapt to certain situations as it regards to different conditions, we would have seen the amount of runs he would have scored in, 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 um, in county cricket. So, what say you? Did Carl Hooper live up to his, to his expectation? Did he fulfill his potential? Or was he just one of those cricketers that was extremely talented but didn't live up to the expectation? Let me know in the comments. Sports of the bone. Keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share. Leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.